Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. So Michael Hannigan is a bit of a time travel, time travel, time travel guy sometimes. I'm going to try and hack him to death with H5 because he's castled. <laughs> and if I cause some problems, I think problems equate to using time generally. So I think it does cause problems to make H5 rather than the routine stuff. Aha, uh -huh. he's already doing some strange move here. Going straight into my H5. Uh, evil plan. Actually, um, okay. If I played E4, that, that would have been interesting as well, maybe. Hmm. Am I giving him too much? Well, E4 here is a nice blunting pawn for his bishop. So and it takes away his F4 square. So I kind of like that blunting effect. I know he's sort of blunted my bishop though, but this bishop's also kind of blunted. So I'm going to h5 in here. <clears throat> h5. trouble I wonder if I play h4 here hope for the best Five square. Or is my centre falling apart? Maybe. Um. Yeah. How do I actually attack from here? Uh, do I play king of seven first? King of eight, maybe safer. Oh, there is knight h4 as I there. Knight h5 for knight f4. Oh, my king's there. That, that wouldn't be a brilliant idea, I think. And queen e8. Like King's yet and Knight takes our four. Um, I was going to kill this bishop soon. Yes. My my pieces are a bit killed over here. Yes. Uh, let's try and un un kill them. Uh, squished. No, let's not think. Let's not use that term. Positive. Okay. Uh, these bishops will come out with a vengeance. Move this one on a six. Soon, um, maybe <clears throat> positive words. Okay, one well, bishop's come out with a vengeance. Bishop e6, disrupting the rook. Rook b8 after. There's queen f7, that was an idea. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Oh, queen f7 for rook e8. Might be interesting. I get rook e8 in. My piece is not totally ridiculous. Bishop d3 trying to short slodge here. Let's skewer. Queen f3. I'm protecting g7 at the moment. So yes, time trouble. Yes, he's a bit of a time trouble guy. I don't know if he's got a slow computer, slow internet, etc. Sometimes it doesn't help even on five minutes. Hmm. What's happening here? Gonna play night tanks. Night tanks. He's gonna play this. And rook takes e3 here. So knight e5 is possible. I know my king's not well placed. There's rook takes g3 here, queen takes e5. Takes G3 as a nice pin to consider. Right, he's BC, I don't think they're just losing the rug. That's knight G4, knight C4. There's knight C4, F6, G6. What did he do to knight C4? I'm threatening rook G3. If I play knight C4. Protecting the rook. Rook's hitting the knight. Aha. Uh -huh. I gotta blunt this stuff. I'll try and blast him with this diagonal, I think, later. Is he gonna take? He's only got 20. He's a time trouble guy. <laughs> um, but is he absolutely killing me here? I'm hoping not. Um, takes, takes c4. Knight g4 better. Rook f4, knight e5. You might play rook e7. Rook g8, rook d7. Could be pretty unpleasant. Ah! Uh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's have a look at that. Oh boy. Oh man. Yes. I was trying to beat him on time, I think. That was very naughty of me. I got punished. Yes, he was actually killing me here, technically, etc. In many respects. Hang on a sec. Now this is a chance for B takes to open up this bishop. G7, it's, it's a killing position with G7. Wow. Uh, so I've just gone into a self mate here. Uh, it's got like 13 seconds. I go into a self mate. Self mate. Oh! Okay. Anyway.
Yeah, well done, Michael Hennigan, excellent former Brett champion. Uh, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks so much.